Well, this may sound familiar. With an election less than three weeks away, a mayoral candidate is using SkyTrain expansion to lure votes. Kennedy Stewart says if he's re-elected, he would fast-track plans for the Vancouver Loop, which would connect Metrotown to UBC. As CDB's Binder Sudgeon reports, transit users seem to like the idea, but turning it into reality is another matter. I also fought hard to save... Kennedy Stewart wants to throw Vancouver for a loop. And with having 44,000 people a day moving along this corridor, uh, it is really, really busy. He vows to try and speed up plans for a SkyTrain line along 41st and 49th Avenues if re-elected. I think it's a good idea for us, especially um, we need to go fast. This whole neighborhood is growing like crazy, so sooner or later it's going to need it. But there's also going to be more development along that line, so we, we need to look at the future. Vancouver can't go it alone. The multi-billion dollar project will need funding from the province and the feds. Now that, that what I have to do what I've done before is to go off and get funding and uh, continue to convince folks this is a worthwhile investment. There's no price tag, no timeline. Opposition parties say the biggest concern they hear is affordability. As for transit priorities... We're still advocating for dollars to extend uh, the Broadway line out to UBC. And I can say uh, A for ABC Vancouver, uh, that's one of our top priorities. I think that we can achieve uh, much more in terms of distributed surface rail than uh, all spending all of this money on SkyTrain. The project is part of TransLink's long-term vision, but so too are asks from other mayors. I wish the mayor luck in getting his project prioritized, uh, but the overall the TransLink plan actually is uh, very sensible uh, because it also looks at rapid bus transit in many places where we wouldn't be looking at uh, a subway system. In 2018, Surrey's Doug McCallum won the hotly contested mayoral race after promising to scrap light rail and instead replace it with SkyTrain. This is the kind of big announcement that's quite common uh, when you get into election season. Um, but to me, you know, it's sparkle ponies and pixie dust. We'll see if Stewart's policy pays off when the votes are counted October 15th. Binder Sudgen, CTV News, Victoria.